Hey everybody, welcome to Hunt, Sleep, Fish. Today we take you back in time with Billy Condren's 2003 and 2004 elk hunts and then we're going to follow it up with Billy's 2006 elk hunt to see if he finally gets his first elk. back this afternoon uh, same place we got on that bull yesterday or those those yeah, bulls those bulls I want a shot and then uh, a bunch of different animals in there I know I know it's a good spot we saw lots of sign yeah it is that's yeah. where we were at up there right we were up top <clears throat> came up that long ridge and got all the bugling bulls right down there above them aspens so what we're gonna do tonight there's a hidden field back there it's a mile it's over a mile. It's a good good walk from here. It's one mile, one point seven eight miles. We're gonna stage up, and we're gonna try to call them down instead of letting them go up. Right. And we're gonna give it a shot this evening. A little bit of calling, not as much, not as aggressive as, as a morning call. Right. I usually back off a little bit, and they might come in silent, so you need to keep your your eyes peeled. All right. So let's get on it. We're yeah. Losing let's do it.
close. He's going to keep calling, trying to calm him down. Nice bull there, too. Just think I shot him a little high, though. Oh, man. That was nice. Oh. I just have to wait. Let's go down and try to find the arrow. Five and a half hours for that <laughs> bull. We reviewed the tape. I believe that that bull was hit in the back strap. I don't think it hit the vital, any vitals. I don't think it hit the main artery running inside the rib cage. That's a tough shot at 10 feet, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tough shot for anybody. Yeah, I, I was pretty excited too, so that probably added to the <laughs> to the mess, I guess. But uh, there's a lot of animals up in there. Yeah, we got into a bunch of them, didn't we? Maybe we'll give it a try another day. We'll let them settle down, I think. Yeah. And just in case the animal was wounded bad enough to die, birds and the coyotes let us know in a day or two if it's yeah. up in there. So we'll, we'll do another sweep in yep. a day or two. If that don't work, we'll roll around the ridge, look down into a big draw, but uh, I think this bull's going to be there. Ain't nobody been in there. Um, it's one of my secret spots, and uh, he's vocal, so he should come in. He should come right to us. Well, I've been practicing with my bow. That's important. That's and, very uh, important. I know that uh, I had a pull back on one this morning. I really want to let one fly, yeah. so yeah. He turned. He turned on us, and uh, another second or two, I think you'd have dropped I would have got it, yeah. yeah. So if we can uh, get on another one, hopefully, and I think so. see what will happen. He's here. Ain't nobody been in here. I've been watching him, just waiting for the our 300 to come in. It's ready to put him down. Well, we got, what, a couple hours? It's five now. Yeah, okay. we'll go sit down for about an hour. I won't go in there until the last minute. You know, just the wind just does too much to us. And we got a little front moving him right now there's you can see the sun coming in from behind this little front so okay. so we're gonna sit down go relax, up over the hill and just wait and just wait all right see if he we'll volunteers at 6 6 30. let's do that we'll right. appreciate it let's, let's just get it. her done <laughs> did you hear that is that he volunteered that was like real life people you know just uh let's, let's go down we gotta go down we'll meet him at the bottom He's going to come off that ridge into that meadow, guaranteed. That's How far doing. away is that? We're only 400 yards from the bottom. I said we go straight down. I make a couple cow calls on the way down. He should he should just stay level with us all the way to the bottom. Let's move. Come on. Got him or not? It looked like a good shot. He's 40 yards. Man, I just don't know. John will be down here in a minute. I guess we'll wait and see if he ran off decent. I don't know. He looked, sound like he went through that pond right there. Boy, I don't know. Let's 
it's going to be a tough one. Because they ducked the arrows 40 yards. Man, I didn't think that would happen. We'll just have to wait for John to come down here and we'll go look for him. Man. Man, I got a good shot. I thought I got an open shot. What happened? Well, he came in perfect. He came through that pond. We got him coming through there. and He, he crossed the trail? Yeah, he come right to that trail. And open shot. Look, I have a perfectly open shot. It's 40 yards. Well, how did he get her, the water? I let her fly, and he, man, he dropped like a rock. He jumped the bowstring. <laughs> I don't, you know, they I, don't thought, do that I thought I heard a hit, you know, but if it did, it's really high. So I don't know, man. I'm not too confident of that. It's just, I didn't think they would do that. 715. <laughs> man. I'll tell you what, <clears throat> just give him 15 minutes to cross the pond and try to find blood. I'm not going to track him in this. I'm going to wait till morning. We'll come back in the morning because we got all day. So I know you hate to leave him here, you know, but uh, he went through that water. If his body's wet when that blood drips off, right? it's not going to be the same red, deep red blood. It's, it's going to get saturated with the water. So. Man, that was a good call, man. That was awesome. It worked, man, didn't it? That was a nice pull. Wait till you see this thing. It's yeah, I want to look at the tape here. It was huge. <laughs> I'm here with Simon Cosper from Adventure Experiences, and he's going to be my guide on this trip. Uh, we've had some rough weather for the first couple of days. A little rain, a little snow. That's Been pretty sure. rough, hasn't it? Some of the worst archery hunting I've done in a while. I uh, hear you. We're, we're going to do an evening hunt, uh, and uh, they're going to take us out and see if we can't get some elk. We finally got a beautiful day, and it turned out. Where are we going to go this evening? Well, this evening we got a spot. I've been glassing over in uh, area over in Fairview. It's a pretty good hike. It's about a two-hour hike, but you know if we can get up there, I'm pretty sure the elk are going to be up there. Two-hour hiking is probably like this, huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> going to be on our hands and knees for a while crawling up there. That's the way everything is out <laughs> yeah. here, I believe. It's a tough hunt, but it's a good hunt. You know, I've been yeah. out here for uh, all five years, you know, and I've I've got on elk every time, and the guides at Adventure Experiences have been great. So I'm looking forward to to going with you. What kind of calling are we going to do this evening? Well, they really, you know, they really haven't been aggressive this year. You know, we've I think we've made up our two bugles this whole, you know, between all the guys out here. But, you know, I'm going to try a little cow calling, you know, maybe a bugle or two, but nothing real serious. Just kind of set up and see what happens. Yep. Well, we get to go. Let's go on our big hike then. We'll get up there and see what happens uh, if I don't poop out before then. Let's get after <laughs> All right, man. Well, you're right about the two-mile hike. Yeah. Day. Uh, I'm glad we've been stalking for the last few uh, minutes, trying to ease up in here. Yeah. It's a nice area, and I've seen a lot of sign. I really like the spot. You know, this is a good opening. You've got a lot of shooting lanes here. I think if you go up there a couple, you know, 30 or 40 yards up there, I'm going to crawl back over here and throw a couple cow calls. Yeah, it's see, getting it's getting to do. the point where it's evening time more enough. You think it's late enough, or are they going to? Yeah, this is just about prime time. Okay. You know, we got the wind just right for us. Everything should, you know, everything should go just right. All right, I'm going to ease up here and see what we can do. All right. Yep. We're set up here trying to call a bull in. Caller's back here. Got a good area. Just got here. It's about probably 536. <laughs> we're going to hunt down this drainage, but we're going to stop and call every once in a while.
tell us miles. <laughs> Did you see how long I had that boat? <laughs> I was worried about miles. I counted. Did There's you? three bulls. I went through the cow cross probably 50 times before he turned it. Okay. Yeah. I saw you go up here, back there, down here. <laughs> okay. We just talked about how much weight I was carrying. Don't matter. Some of that muscle was That's helping me muscle. out, That's my sure, friend. Buddy. You did good. That's for sure. Guys, thank you. That was unreal. Enjoyed it. Hey, what happened? I was going to yeah. come in and see right here. Huh? That's true. Calling. He stopped. That was kind of a good hit, too. He waited on these other bulls right back over there out of sight. I thought he'd step back. And here comes the second one. They come in just as soon as. Well, they heard. And the second one had more points, a little shorter, but he's a, he's a, you know, got more points. Yeah, first one. And then another one. And he, I saw this. Hear him down there. He's down there. I heard some crunch. He's falling down. Another one. They're still down there. I got some flagging tape. We better get some. Can't miss that. Yeah, we got a track on this guy, but no blood. May shot him high. I know it did. Still at the angle. Might be. Something happened. Might get an artery, something happened. Go a little ways before it gets dark. See if we can find something. 